On April 5, French President Emmanuel Macron's visit to China attracted worldwide attention. And China and France signed a total of $100 billion worth of deals, including transactions for Airbus aircraft, the construction of large container ships, and the building of nuclear power plants. Moreover, shortly after Macron returned to France, plans to sell the Kerguelen Islands, valued at 60 billion euros, to China were reported. The island is located in the deep sea of the South Indian Ocean, covering an area of 6,675 square kilometers. Strategically, the Kerguelen Islands are significant to China. However, as a non-renewable strategic resource, why is France willing to sell it, and is it worth China's 60 billion euro investment? Okay, in today's video, let's dive deep into this deal. The Kerguelen Islands are a French archipelago located in the deep sea of the South Indian Ocean. The main island covers an area of 6,675 square kilometers and is surrounded by over 300 small islands and reefs, totaling approximately 7,200 square kilometers. Geographically, the Kerguelen Islands are an isolated and barren island, located approximately 2,000 kilometers from the nearest continent of Antarctica, and about 4,000 kilometers from Africa to the northwest and Australia to the northeast. Due to its proximity to Antarctica, the island is covered with ice and snow year-round. The island is also subject to strong westerly winds due to its location in the Earth's westerly wind belt. The remote location and harsh environment make the Kerguelen Islands a forgotten frontier in human society. So, how did the Kerguelen Islands come to be discovered by humans? The first time the Kerguelen Islands were discovered can be traced back to the 1880s. In 1771, a French explorer named Kerguelen was sent to search for the rumored new continent in the Indian Ocean. After a year at sea, the Kerguelen fleet discovered a new island that had never before appeared on any maps on February 13, 1772. After returning to France, in order to brag about his achievements and cover up the fact that he failed to discover the New World, Kerguelen described the island as France in the southern hemisphere with fertile land, rich minerals, and no borders at a glance. However, Kerguelen's lies were exposed the following year, and he was thrown into prison by Louis XV. This remote, barren island was subsequently forgotten until 1776 when British navigator Captain Cook also visited and surveyed the island. The honest navigator did not want to steal the honor of Kerguelen's first discovery, so he named the island after Kerguelen. Entering the 19th century, the Industrial Revolution propelled the development of navigation technology, and global maritime travel became increasingly frequent. Located between Australia and Africa, Kerguelen Island became a bridge connecting Europe, Africa, and Australia, and its strategic value began to emerge. France recognized the strategic value of Kerguelen Island and declared sovereignty over it in 1893. Subsequently, the French began to mine coal resources on the island to provide fuel for passing ships. Soon, a group of overseas investors also saw business opportunities on the island and successively established whaling companies and ranches, but all ultimately failed due to the island's harsh environment. It wasn't until 1950 that the French government built a meteorological observation station on Kerguelen Island, which was later incorporated into the Antarctic administrative region. The island finally had a fixed population, but with only just over 100 people, the vast majority of whom were meteorologists and technicians. This is the past and present of Kerguelen Island. However, since the beginning of the 21st century, France's attention and investment in Kerguelen Island seem to be diminishing, to the point where there is even talk of selling it. Why is this? There are many reasons why France wants to sell the island, some related to France itself and some related to Kerguelen Island. Looking at the island itself, its remote location and harsh environment are important reasons why France wants to relinquish sovereignty. Kerguelen Island is in the midst of gale force winds for 300 days a year, and the winds were so strong that flies and butterflies had to evolve to shed their wings. When humans attempted to develop Kerguelen Island at the end of the 18th century, a series of living problems arose due to the harsh environment, and over 30 workers died, which ultimately led investors to abandon their development plans. Of course, Kerguelen Island also has development value, such as its abundant fishery resources. However, at the same time, the island's extremely rich fishery also attracted illegal fishermen from around the world. 
The French government had to frequently send patrol ships and aircraft to crack down on illegal fishing, which invisibly increased the cost of maintaining the island for the French government. In addition, as one of the early colonial giants of the Western world, France has territories all over the world, and any one of them is larger and more valuable than Kerguelen Island. Of course, the economic difficulties France is currently facing are the direct reason for its urgent sale of the island. According to statistics, France's inflation rate reached 5.2% in 2022, the highest level in nearly half a century. Therefore, in the situation where France's economy is failing and foreign debt is soaring, once Kerguelen Island is sold off, it can not only create a revenue of 60 billion euros in one fell swoop but also save a considerable amount of daily maintenance costs. This will have a direct impact on easing France's economic difficulties. So, should China make a move in the face of France's intention to sell? As a matter of fact, there are not many potential buyers for the Kerguelen Islands besides China, including only the United States, Japan, and India. The United States and France have a precedent for territorial transactions. Louisiana, which accounts for 22% of the United States' current territory, was bought from France for $16 million. However, given its own economic difficulties in recent years, it is probably difficult for the United States to easily come up with such a large sum of money to purchase the island. Moreover, a small Kerguelen island has little impact on the global hegemonic situation of the United States. Therefore, Americans are unlikely to have the idea of buying the island. India, which considers itself the master of the Indian Ocean, does not have any territory in the southern Indian Ocean region. The existence of Kerguelen Island can fill this gap for India. Once India takes over the island, it can deter the entire Indian Ocean region, which is a great opportunity for India to dominate the Indian Ocean. But the price of 60 billion euros is still too expensive for India to consider from an economic perspective. Therefore, India seems to have to give up. As for Japan, which values territory more than anything else despite its small size and large population, it does hope to add some territory. However, Kerguelen Island is not suitable for development and it is impossible to relocate people to the island. Even if Japan buys the island, it will be difficult to produce practical benefits. Therefore, China seems to be the only potential buyer for Kerguelen Island. So, is this deal good for China? Undoubtedly, the existence of Kerguelen Island can bring multiple benefits to China. For China, the most important value of Kerguelen Island is its political and military value. On the one hand, Kerguelen Island is located in the deep Indian Ocean. Once China owns the island, it can be regarded as a coastal country of the Indian Ocean. On the other hand, Kerguelen Island is classified as part of the African continent, and thus, China is also connected with Africa. In the past, China was the only major power in the world without overseas territories, which to some extent limited China's influence in the world. Once China has Kerguelen Island, it will have a foothold to communicate with the world. At that time, whether it is the navy fleet in the Indian Ocean or the trade between Chinese merchant ships and African countries, it will be more convenient. From a military perspective, the significance of Kerguelen Island is even greater. In recent years, the United States has constructed three island chains in the vast sea areas near Japan, the East Asian Islands, the South Pacific, and the North American coast in order to contain China's development. The existence of Kerguelen Island undoubtedly has great strategic value for China to break through the blockade of the island chains. Although it is difficult to build military bases on Kerguelen Island due to its harsh environment, a submarine base could be built here. After all, even in rough seas, the underwater depth of hundreds of meters is hardly affected. Once China's nuclear submarines can be deployed to Kerguelen Island, they can penetrate into the Atlantic to the west and approach the Indian Ocean to the north. At that time, China's military power can directly break through the blockade of the island chains and counterbalance the U.S. military deployment. Therefore, Kerguelen Island is indeed worth buying. However, there are also many potential risks in the purchase of Kerguelen Island. Can the development of the island meet expectations? Will the United States intervene in China's island purchasing behavior behind the scenes? Once China leverages the geographic location of Kerguelen Island to bring even greater influence to the South Indian Ocean and Africa, will this attract countermeasures from India and the United States, leading to friction and conflict?
The series of chain reactions brought about by the island purchasing behavior are unknown. So, do you think China should buy Kurgolan Island? Well, thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments section. We'll come back as soon as possible and check them, and then we'll give feedback. See you next time.